I mean, first of all, you have the former chief growth officer of Altria going over to, to, to work with Juul or to run Juul. And Altria has a core competency in regulations and how to manage through the regulatory framework of the tobacco industry. If you think about the Juul management team, these are startup guys um, that came up with a technology with a great product design, and they didn't have the core competencies that are required in a, in a sector that is so complicated like, like tobacco where you're dealing with um, public health. So I think this is a, a, a good move, a great move, um, and I, I would expect this to really help uh, the youth epidemic that we've been seeing with, with e-cigarettes uh, over the past few years. And yet, Altria shares are lower today, Nick. I mean, they've been slammed in the last few months. And, and there are some concerns about capital, especially when they're, when they're holding so much of Juul, when this deal is, if it is permitted to go through. So how do you balance that negative with all of the regulatory hurdles with your view on Altria? Yeah, it's, it's a bit puzzling because remember that Altria just has a passive stake in Juul. So they don't even have approval yet to record equity income uh, from Juul, even if Juul is making money right now. So I think people have to really understand that there's a separation here. Uh, whatever happens to Juul from a financial standpoint doesn't impact Altria at, in any shape, way, shape, or form. Cash, earnings, revenue. Uh, even if Altria had to take a write-down on Juul, it would be a non-cash write-down. So if you really think about Altria's stock, it's trading at an 8% dividend yield. The market is basically saying that that uh, dividend is not sustainable. And that is the furthest thing from the truth when you actually look at the math and the numbers. Uh, there is going to really be no impact from Juul on Altria uh, this year, next year, or the year after. Josh, you tempted by percent of a deal? No, I hope the stock goes to zero. And I would tell anyone watching this, they should pay zero attention to anything to do with earnings, revenue, uh, chief growth manager, or whatever disgusting term uh, they give the person who's going to run a company that sells poison to children. Um, this is a stock that should be divested. Two-thirds of the money in Europe that's institutional uh, is now managed to an ESG standard. ESG is coming to the United States in a very big way. These are the types of stocks that are getting kicked out of portfolios, millions of people's portfolios at a time. Uh, I don't care if it trades at a 12% yield. I don't want it. My clients don't want it. Use direct indexing to own the S&P 500 and subtract companies so, like these. So we sell alcohol stocks to zero as well, also oil stocks? I don't think it's the same thing at all. This, these are companies... We're talking about this company's, uh, the executive's core competency is getting right to the edge of the That's law. That's true. To the... That's true. What about Philip Morris and Altria? Oh, look, this, this is a company that pays a very high dividend. It was $70 two and a half years ago. It's $40. There is a reason for that. There is no investment case to be made for companies that will not be a part of the portfolios of the future. People are not investing money into companies like this. So that's different from saying you hope it goes bust into zero. I hope it does, truthfully. Honestly, that's every, a moral position. It's a moral, a moral position. position. I'm not predicting it does. In fact, over the last hundred years, the best performing sector for both Britain and the United States are tobacco stocks. I am suggesting that investors en masse remove the stock from their portfolio, do not give money to these companies. And I'm going to tell you, you can say, oh, it's so unpopular that probably makes it a great investment opportunity uh, because one day people will come around. I'm not so sure. Because ESG and people investing in a socially responsible way is the mega trend of our generation and younger, and people will not hold these stocks in their portfolios. So it's not about the business, the execution. None of that is the point of what I'm saying. What I'm suggesting is you can own the index and you can X out stocks like this. And if you need dividends, telecom companies pay high dividends, utilities, real estate investment trusts, you can own preferred stocks, you can own anything other than this.